Hi, Michael Drapkin here. So five years ago, I received two Selmer Paris 67B bass clarinets and did a double unboxing video. Well, today I received three Selmer A clarinets, three different models, and I'm going to do a triple unboxing video. So let's see what these boxes look like and what these instruments look like. Howdy. Hey. Been looking forward to seeing you. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much. Do you mind putting those right there? I assume you want me to sign for them, right? No, you don't have to sign for them. Really? That's like $35,000 worth of instruments. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And not Ains. It's not a signature on it. Okay, well, thanks so much. You're welcome. I'll go. See you later. Yeah. So I've got three instruments here that... Um, Jenny over at Selmer sent to me from Elkhart, Indiana. Um, one of them is a Selmer Paris Privilege, a Selmer Paris Presence, and a Selmer Paris Signature model. And let's take each one out and we'll give them a try. We'll kick the tires. So I should add that the reason why I am looking at these three clarinets is because Last December, when I played the Nutcracker in the pit, I hadn't used my A clarinet since before the whole COVID thing started, and my instrument was wildly flat. In fact, I ended up using a 62 barrel that I had bought a really long time ago. I figured I would never use it because whoever needs something, you know, that to make your instrument that that sharp, right? I figured uh, at the time when I bought it that I would end up. Um, using it in case I was playing somewhere that's really cold. But hey, if it's that cold, you shouldn't be playing a good instrument there anyway. Anyway, good thing I had it because it did bring that R13 back up to pitch. Now that's an instrument that I bought in 1984 when I did a trip to Europe with my then girlfriend who came back as my fiance. Um, but we stopped in Paris and I went to the buffet factory and picked out two beautiful instruments, including that A clarinet that I just mentioned. So I was thinking 1984, maybe it's time to get a new one, okay? And since I'm a Selmer artist, I reached out to my friends at Selmer about asking instruments that I should try out. Now I did the same thing five years ago when I decided it was time for me to get a new bass clarinet and I got my 67B bass clarinet, uh, Selmer Paris. Uh, absolutely gorgeous instrument. I love it. I'm delighted with it. And I have the black keys, uh, the ones that Michael Lowenstern came up with the idea. And in fact, I named my instrument after him. So my horn, my bass clarinet is named Darth Lowenstern. Okay, so I have these three A clarinets I'm gonna try out. I don't know if I'm gonna keep any of them. I do get a, a nice discount being an artist, and I'll, I'll tell you what the three models are, and I am reading off my computer screen. So the three instruments that I have here are the Selmer Paris Presence A clarinet. The uh, manufacturer's suggested retail price on this instrument is $7,541. I have a Selmer Paris Signature A clarinet, and that one, the retail price is $12,762. Then the third one is the Selmer Paris Privilege A clarinet. And the retail price on that one is $13,804. So what I am curious is to see whether our friend Stefan actually signed the signature clarinet. I would expect so. Anyway, here goes. I'm going to go open the boxes. Okay, having used my trusty X-Acto knife over here, I got the ends of the boxes open and now I'm going to yank these out and see what we've got inside here. Each of these comes with a little package inside. You can see the case down there. I'm assuming this is for accessories. They have come with the accessories like the cap, swab, cork grease, what have you. These two look fairly similar. 
This one on the privilege looks like it's got that, plus it's got a little carrying case and some literature in here. So you can see where it's in there. And let's see what's in this stuff. So this one, which is for the signature, this one actually has a bit more stuff in it. This is a box for the uh, silver cap right here. Silver cap, I'm not gonna open it up. And the, it's got a um, ligature right here. And the third one is actually a box for, again, a concept. Let's see what's in the third one. This is the stuff that came for the privilege and it's got this extra little thing here. So what we've got here with this one is uh, a little zip, zip packet that's got your guarantee and warranty, I guess. And you open this, what's in here? Oh, it's got a nice little gizmo with uh, your swab and some cork grease and I'm not sure what this is here. Oh, it must be like a thing to um, polish the instrument. And you can see it's got sort of a sexy see-through thing here for holding this stuff. Now over here, we've got um, the same as the signature. Wait, what's this? Congratulations on the pur purchase of your new clarinet. Hey, look at this. You get a free one-year membership to the International Clarinet Association. That's nice. And here you've got the same thing as in the um, the signature model. You've got the concept mouthpiece, you've got the silver cap, and you've got the ligature. So you get a, a few more little little uh, benefits when you get the, um, the, the privilege here. Okay, so I pulled out um, each case from each, each of these cardboard shipping boxes. And what I, the first thing I noticed, it's very cool. Each one comes with a double case. So let's see what it looks like. This is the case for the presents. Keep forgetting the names. And it's got a nice soft case cover with a nice uh, compartment in the front. It's got, oh, this has got the straps for your shoulders. So, and it looks like the whole thing unzips down here so you can put stuff in here and there's a bunch of accessories in here actually that's the same one so what's this this looks like uh this has actually got an extra mouthpiece in it so this one comes with a bonus mouthpiece and let's see what's in here it's probably the same as the one in the box yeah it is so this is the same. It's got the concept mouthpiece, the silver ligature, and the plastic cap. So uh, I guess they tossed an extra one in here, which is very nice. Let's, let's put it back inside. And here's your literature and warranty and that kind of fun stuff in here. As well as you can see the, the straps uh, for making this into a backpack. Okay, let's see what the clarinet looks like. Here's the grand unveiling. Remember, this is an A clarinet. Ooh. Okay, so this is where they keep... The, this is where they keep the, um, uh, the barrels over here. And what have you got over here? You've got... Looks like a swab, and here's the instrument. Ooh, how beautiful looking they are. Okay, and let's let's open the next one. Okay, and that was the presents. So this one is the signature, uh, but so far I don't see Stefan's signature on here. Maybe that happens if you if you buy it, he'll sign it for you. Now this is a different case. This is like a briefcase style. It's got a solid cover on it and it's got the little things here for opening it. Oh, lovely. This one has all the, yeah, and there's, there's some keys for this. Careful, precaution of use. Highly recommend you leave the mouthpiece outside the case. This will 
prevent the key work for bluing. Thank you for understanding. Okay. Um, and you've got a uh, Selmer anti-tarnish strip, which was in the other case as well. Um, here's the bell. Here's the barrel. And there's room for two barrels there. And here's an extra barrel. You get two barrels. And in fact, let's see what kind of barrel. I don't know if it says what the, the number is on here. But let's take a look and see what the, the length is. And so I can get this out. Okay, so you've got two barrels and um, one is slightly longer than the other. So you've got two barrels of slightly different lengths here. Um, and it's got, it's got, doesn't, well, I can't read this right now. It's too small for me, but it is beautiful. These are beautiful and they're two different lengths. And of course you've got your upper and lower joints and the barrel here. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So this is the, priv oh, this is, says privilege on here. Hmm. Okay, maybe we got them mixed up. Um, maybe I've got them mixed up. So here's the third one. And this is, let's see what it says when I open it. Actually, this is the signature. Also beautiful. And this also comes with two different length barrels for there. And there's room in here for four barrels. And you've got your beautiful clarinets in here. And this is the one that says signature. And I like the way now that uh, at the end of the joint, they've got the metal things on here to keep them from being damaged. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to close these up and I'm going to assemble them. Okay, so here's the three instruments all unboxed. On the left, you've got the presence and then the signature and then the privilege. Now I should point out that my bass clarinet is also a privilege. So my inclination would be to want it to match along with my bass clarinet, but let's let's see how they sound. So I've got my setup here. Um, this is uh, a Dan Johnston mouthpiece that Stanley Hasty gave me eons ago, and I love these. I actually have several of them, um, and he's and Dan Johnston isn't making them anymore. Anyway, uh, so this is a um, Johnston mouthpiece. I've got a Charlie Bay ligature, which I really like. I added a piece of cork in here to make it press more evenly at Hasty's recommendation a long time ago. And this reed is a Van Doren 5 from the purple boxes from the collection of boxes that I got from my dear friend Mitch Estrin, which I have a lot of them. So let's give these a shot. Here's the presence. And by the way, what I should first point out is that the key design is a little bit more angular on here, if you notice. See how this is sort of got, um, it's got square edges on here, in, as opposed to on the um, the signature and the privilege. These are more, more of a round design. The other thing I should point out is both of these have uh, left finger A flat, E flats on here. So you've got an extra key on here, um, just like I have on the bass planet. So let's give this one a try. So this is the this is the presence, and I should say all three of these are really lovely instruments. Oh, and it's also got the adjustable thumb rest where you can move it up and down here. <laughs> centered tone. Um, if I didn't know that there was a big difference in price between these, um, I think that this was just like, you know, one of their top of the line instruments. And maybe they considered this to be, um, but it is certainly much less expensive than these other two. Let's try the signature. If you 
you noticed, I accidentally hit the A flat E flat key there. So this one clearly is a little bit darker tone than um, on the presence. I really like the presence tone so far. That's my favorite so far. Let's go try the, the privilege here. Good thing I have all these <laughs> individual stands here. I've got the German one and I've got two of the ones from Woodwind Design. Okay, so I had to throw you in a plug in there. So um, let's try, this is the, um, Summer per Paris privilege instrument. <laughs> Okay, well, my, my little um, gloves in there are all aside. This is also a really lovely instrument. It's also much darker. It's actually very similar to the signature in terms of the tone, um, but it feels a little bit heavier than the other two instruments. So um, my favorite so far of the three is actually the presence. Now to be perfectly fair, we are, we have a sampling of one of each brand, one of each um, model. And what I would seriously prefer to do is what I did when I went, when Susie and I, who's filming right now, when Susie and I went to Paris together, when uh, back in 1984, they had an entire table full of instruments and I was able to pick one. So what I would prefer to do is say if I like the presence, I'd want to pick it out of a bunch of presents. It's not to say that there might be another privilege model that I might like a lot better than the one that was sent to me. So one always has to be careful um, when you're picking out from a sampling of one. But that having been said, let's try this again. <laughs> this instrument it has a really nice centered tone to it doesn't feel tubby as often a clarinets do um, but it has a really nice centered bright brilliant um, a clarinet tone and of the three so far if I had to make a choice and I didn't know what the price tags were or the model names this is the one that I would pick it's a lovely instrument but then again I'm only pick trying one of each and if I went to, perhaps if I went to Elkhart, um, I might be able to try a whole bunch of them. So, well, there you have it, folks. This is our, our triple uh, unboxing video. I've got three different models of these beautiful Selmer instruments. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But of the three that I've tried out here, I like this one the best. And this is their, this is their presence model. They're really lovely, lovely horns. They're, I love the way they're made. I love the additional metal that they put into the bands around them to keep the joints from getting damaged. And Selma does absolutely gorgeous work. And certainly my bass clarinet, um, which some of you may have seen from my videos on YouTube, is just an absolutely gorgeous instrument that was beautifully made. One last thing I should point out is that I did put each one of these three instruments on the scope. I have the Peterson app on my uh, iPad and I tested out what the pitch was. And I have to say that the presence was right on the money. Um, the signature was a little bit on the flat side, even switching barrels to the diff two different size barrels that came with it. And the third one was that the privilege 
tended to be a little bit on the high side as well. And again, that's, you know, switching between the two barrels that they had there. So it's something to think about as the, I'm really surprised the presence pitch was just right on the money, A440. Anyway, uh, another interesting thing to consider. Thanks for putting up with me and watching this triple unboxing video. I've really enjoyed taking these instruments out and maybe this is a, a close thing for you to the next best thing of actually being there. And so I've tried these. They're all beautiful instruments. You may have completely different experiences than I do, but so far, as I said before, I really love this presence instrument over these other two. They're, but they're all gorgeous. Thanks for watching and happy clarinetting.